Greetings and citations everybody, my name is DarkHatX1 and today we're continuing off where we last left with some more Scarlet Ruins. And as you can see on the screen, we are currently looking at the NNWS Universe's Duncan. Now, Duncan here is modeled after a Fowler 2F. A uh, dock tank design, fairly simple, worked in docks, did very well as it's apparently one of the more well-known dock tanks at LMS. So, take it in. I gave him red rods because I figured it'd help bring home the fact that he's not really a frequent mainliner. He's more of an industrial and employed engine. Despite wearing a mainline livery, but whatever. And then... Over here is where we take in further departure, not only in numbers, jumping from 42 all the way up to 48, but in terms of design, as these are Great Western Tender engines. The one in front, which is NNWS Duke, is a Great Western Railway City class, designed well, for primary use on the ocean mail trains and passenger trains on the Great Western network back then. And I figured it'll work best for Duke, despite the fact that they had Duke dogs. But hey, what's happened has happened, and he pulls off the city look very well. He has a very tender to draw a difference between him and Bertram back there. Because the, I did catch a picture of a Great Western City wearing a tender that was more in line with the 2000 gallon ones, or the more vintage looking ones than the standard Great Western tenders of the 3000 gallon, 3200, 500, whatever. But yeah. As you can tell, I'm very tired, but I'm doing my best. Then we've also got Bertram here, who somehow came out a bit better of the two. I don't know how. But he sort of works a bit better. I think it's the red and brown combo, but here you can take a look at his face. He's got an eye patch because in recent times he's been characterized as this really Shakespearean character. And I figured the eye patch would bring home the fact that he likes to act, and he's currently acting as a pirate. Or something close to a pirate. No one really knows. And here you can see he's got the. Standard Great Western Tender design. He's missing the upper cab windows, as I wanted to add more of a detailed difference, as Duke would work more on top link, while Bertram is more of the mine engine, who runs trains up and around. So, yeah. He's very simple, but sometimes simple works. But, aside from that... That's really all there is for today, except for some announcement announcements. Announcements number one. We hit 71 subscribers. I can't really thank you guys enough for that, as I already know that some of the stuff I make isn't up to par with some of the big cats in YouTube's history. But I appreciate the fact that you take your time to watch some of the stuff I make, even if it is terrible. Number two. The roster page has recently hit 950 reads. That is something I didn't really see happening, but it did. So again, thank you. And the main story now has 410. So again, thank you all. So I'll definitely be updating that over this weekend. And I'll be trying to work around with models, as I said. I've been rebuilding some, and as you can see by the parts scattered around, I'm in the process of building up the new Emily. So that'll be a showcase in the rebuilds compilation I'll probably make. Well, that being said, this has been Dark Chaotix 1, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.